What's good YouTube is Anthony back at it with another video and in today's video guys we are going to have some heat on this channel guys we got the Michigan Dunk Low and the Spartan Dunk Low Nike Dunk this is a crazy shoe got both of them lucky enough to hit both for retail and I got the highs you know for the personal got the Michigans and the Spartans both size 10 for myself and I hit big on this release today in this video we're going to be going over the shoe itself sizing material a smart and profitable investment that'll be in the end so stay tuned for that and pretty much everything you need to know about this shoe this is a great shoe guys I got size four and a half and a four and a half in the Michigan and the state dunk retailing at $85 pay $90 and 10 cents after tax if you know you know that is a very cheap retail price or any shoe in general particularly a dunk and I'm really happy with the shoe the results and how everything really went for this release Men's retailing at $100, paid $106 after tax. I had five dunks this release. I sold those men's sizes yesterday, and now I only have one left of each colorway, and I'll be looking to sell it either this weekend or sometimes next week. I'm not really sure, or I might hold it and wait till it goes up. Starting off with your box, you got your classic Nike box with the red and white box, Nike swoosh on the top and on the outside. Here is your size tag, size four and a half, grade school, very small size. And I picked it up on Kids Foot Locker app. They did a reservation like they always do for those limited releases. And I was lucky enough to hit five pairs on their sleeves, which is pretty good, better than I have done before. And I'm really happy with how everything really went and lots of profit on this release. Flipped the majority of the pairs. Again, still have two pairs left, looking to sell them. First, starting off with the Spartan pair. As I have seen on the market and just people around me, the Spartan pair has been in more demand. It's just more of a cleaner pair and more wearable with like the varsity green, deep green, and the white. You really cannot go wrong with this shoe. You can pull off a ton of fits versus the Michigan pair where you're more limited with the colors of the yellow and blue. But if you want to really pull out a like really poppable fit, toss these on and you're good to go. This shoe and this shoe are very similar, just like different colors. So we're just going to start off with this shoe right here, guys. This is a full leather shoe. Very nice premium leather i would say nice toe box right there in the white nice holes right there that perforated holes for that breathability and everything you know that's just a classic way of having dunks and jordan ones got the nice holes at the toe box even they crease a little bit you know but you could put those like crease protectors in there or just be careful when you walk around you don't want to walk around like stiff footed you got nice green overlays around the sides and back around the heel nike stitch in and that embroidered nike on the back heel tab with the white right there, green, green swoosh, wrap around on the outside and the insides. Very nice touch on the white. It really looks clean and sharp on the shoe. Lots of other dunks we've had in the past recently. They've been coming like more of like a general release and I'm really happy about that. It's just easier to cop shoes that are more limited versus trying to cop on the Nike sneakers app. And everyone knows that is very difficult and we're always taking those L's got a nice mesh tongue in that white and the green coming around in the inside you got some information right there and your size tag for the gray school dunks is on the inner panel right there you kind of kind of see it right there on the edge and then for the men's pair it's more tucked in into the inside of there not the same exact place for the grade school pair but inside you got this like orange nike and the swoosh i'm not really sure why it's orange but you know whatever looks pretty good nice touch and pop to the shoe size four and a half right there more of that mesh around the outside of the ankle for comfort and everything. Dunks are just super clean, guys. This is the Dunk Low versus the Dunk High Spartan. I'm more of a fan of the highs, just me, guys. Um, highs are going for a bit lower than, I don't know, I would say. They released also about a year ago, maybe. Maybe a little bit less. But yeah, guys, this is the Dunk High versus the Lows. Let me know in the comments what shoe do you prefer. You like the Lows or the Highs? Or are you more of a Michigan fan versus a state fan? Personally, I like Michigan more, but the Spartan pair is a lot cleaner and I wear more, matches more. And overall, just a clean pair versus the yellow. Yellow is kind of a hard color to pull off and I don't really wear a ton of yellow. So therefore, it's making it kind of hard to put some fits on. But you know, sometimes I want to pull out a hard fit, pop in the summertime. Onto sizing for this shoe, this shoe fits two to size. So get your normal size, guys. This shoe is in fact in full family sizing. At least for the Michigan pair, I know there's only, I think, grade school and men's for the Spartan pair. Not sure if that is for everywhere in the area, but at least for my area and my stores, they had 
grade school and men's and then full family sizing in the other pair onto the midsole we got this nice clean rubber white midsole with the white stitching wrapping around and then onto the bottoms right here nice green outer sole in the rubber again you got some like faded stars on dunks not as like defined on the jordan ones for instance but yeah guys clean pair right here nike in there nice tread on the bottom ties it in nice green laces only green laces for the shoe no additional laces really pretty much for dunks a lot of dunks really don't come with that additional laces versus a Jordan 1. But you know, this shoe would look awesome with some like sail laces, maybe even white. I really would stay away from black, just not a good color for this shoe and pop. But that sail, I've seen a lot of people wear it for the highs. I do in fact actually have the sail color for other shoes, but this shoe, it would really tie it in, make it pop and just stand out. A lot of people don't do that, but it looks really clean and underrated. If you have been paying close attention to this colorway, and the Spartan colorway, you would know they look like the off-white Nike Dunk. With that being said, guys, this shoe is very similar. It just doesn't have that off-white kind of pop to it. It's pretty much like the same shoe and design of this, really. And it just has like the overlays and like the additional stuff for the off-white, the writing and everything like that. But this shoe is about three or four hundred dollars less than that price right now on the second market, like StockX and Goat. For reference, the Michigan pair is significantly lower than the Spartan pair, maybe because of the color. And like I said earlier, kind of hard to match, more easier to pull off the Spartan pair versus this pair. For grade school right now, pretty much for all sizes, this shoe is right around $145, upwards of $175. While on the other hand, this green pair right here on like GOAT right now and StockX, it's about $200 and up, upwards of $250, depending on the size. I sold a four and a half for $245 last night, making some good money. I have another four and a half. I actually had four, four and a halfs and nine and a half on this release. Four and a half, it was just an easy shoe to hit on the app raffles online. And that's what I've been doing recently. Still making a ton of money on this shoe and hitting a lot of pairs for retail. On the other hand, the men's pair for the Michigans is right around that $200, upwards of $225 mark. And the Spartan pair is right around $250, upwards of $300. As you can see, you can see the price difference between the two colorways and then versus the off-whites. That shoe in like the Ohio State, Michigan, and the Michigan State colorway are right around 600 to 700 dead stock. I think this shoe is a great hold because of that resemblance to the off-white pair, guys. It's just very similar and like you got the same shoe basically. So if you want to pay a cheaper cost, buy this shoe, wait till it goes up. I think this shoe can go up about $100 to $150 in the next year or so. Not really a long or not really a short term hold, more of a long term hold. The off whites have slowly gone up a little bit, increasing a little bit, but they got that off white on top of the head basically. So they are going to flip for a lot versus this general release Nike Dunk right here in the colorways. Very simple, easy shoe to pull off. And I think this shoe has lots of potential if you are in it for the long hold and if you have the capital. Personally, I'll be passing on this hold. I think there is lots of potential for both of these shoes and colorways. I just really don't have the time and like I, I i really have the patience right now for this shoe i'm more invested into some jordan one mids and lows and highs and like jordan fours for instance versus this shoe right here but let me know in the comments what do you guys think of this hold right here i think it has lots of potential and this shoe i don't really i i can't see it not being like 300 hours to 400 hours in the next year maybe like next summertime of year 2022 I think you guys should pick up your pair as soon as possible with that said and i maybe wait another week or so for people to get their online orders in prices may drop a little bit and then they will begin to start creeping up and going up and then you'll start making more money but right now since i did pay retail of 90 dollars and 10 cents it'd be a no-brainer to get rid of it right now for right on 200 dollars and make about 100 percent of my initial investment and just really invest that money into a next release that's what i've been doing recently just turning that money over making more money and just turns into more stuff and like with these raffles on like foot locker kids foot locker champs foot action all these points when you buy it in store you add more points and that like really just like a cycle of getting more shoes on those apps with those points i think i have almost a million flx points right now so i'm hitting about pretty much almost every release not really, but I feel like I hit quite a few of the releases. We got the Jordan 6 Ghost Greens tomorrow, and I have a bunch of those pairs already. Just off FLX, got about six pairs right now. 
and both GS and men's. Very profitable shoe right there, making about 40 bucks, upwards of 75 bucks, pretty much every single pair. Very profitable shoe right there. And again, I'll just be turning that money over, selling it day of, maybe like two days after, since I had these dunks already. Been really busy running around to all these stores. It's very time consuming, along with school and everything else going on in my life. It's just kind of hard to do everything in one day. You guys gotta let me in the comments what shoe you prefer. Do you like the Spartans or the Michigans or maybe even the highs? Let me know in the comments, drop that guys. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Thank you all so much for 1000 subscribers guys. We are only going up and I'm bringing you guys the heat on this channel. So subscribe, like, share this video with your friends and I'll see you guys tomorrow with the review of the Jordan 6 Retro Ghost Green.